Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of The Quarry. We are continuing exactly where we left off from the first episode. So if you just got done watching that, this is immediately right after that. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go. So she showed us a vision in her crystal ball. The douche with the backwards hat opened up what looked like a little safe, and then he took out something, and then on the place where he placed that, it was like a box of ammo, I think. It exploded, and then some hunters got knocked back. So maybe if that situation comes about, I need to remember that so I can save the douchebag with the backwards hat. But I think they're gonna throw a wild party tonight. So and here let's we see are, what happens. stranded in the great American wild with nothing but our wits to guide us. Will humanity prevail or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one plane crash movie? What movie was that? I kind of want to watch that. That sounds kind of hot. This First is the course, guy that has a strand of hair. Jacob. He's to blame. Rich and full All because he wants some booty. Hair beefcake may leave an Speaking irritating of taste lingering on the palate. An acquired taste, some would say. I don't like this guy wow. because he potentially risked the lives of everybody. What? Pisses me right off. Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god, I'm almost done, okay? What kind of metaphor? And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. Analogy, there you go. I'm stupid. Me no smart. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. Kick door? Why would I want to kick the door? No, I'm not going to kick the door. <laughs> ah, there we go. And Viola. <laughs> if it was already in the matter. process of getting mm -hmm. open, why would I There's kick the shabby, door? Huh? Come on, everybody. Maybe I am smart. Playful or sarcastic? Let's be sarcastic. Took you long enough. Yeah. Well, I got it open, didn't I? It's okay. It's not a race. I don't want to be playful because okay. I don't like this guy anymore. So, if I were a beer, where would I be hiding? Like, he really needs to redeem himself right now. Beep, 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 beep. What beep, are you doing? Oh, I got one of those. Beep. My douchebag detector. Beep, oh. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> It's my beard dar. Guy in the hat. Helps me dar for beers. Yeah, my douche dar went off. How am I just off noticing how super lame you are? What? But it, it's my beard dar, dude. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go over here. If that's his best way to <sighs> impress really her. Kids really wipe this place out. My guy. <laughs> my guy has a tough hill to Mr. climb. Mr. H loved his accessories. Wait a minute. This is where the safe is. Oh, shit. Hold on. I <laughs> think it's locked. When I'm able to talk freely, I'm going to talk. Don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> I think we need to get that open for uh -oh. sure. Oh, Ooh, watermelon. Yeah. Like I was eating in the oh. first episode. Jackpot. Hey, uh, oh, I want some watermelon right check now. Check out my giant melons. Oh. See, you just cut a hole in it. Mm -hmm. You pour in your vodka. It's party time. You just, you pour the vodka right in it. Yeah, it's the most fun you could have with a hole in watermelon. Or, well, second most. This guy, man. Okay, I'm gonna leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies. Let's not even think about what the hole in the watermelon is. Like, come on now, let's stop that. But yeah, I think we need to get the safe open because I think that's going to take care of the hunters. Or maybe that's a warning to not do that, you know? So I don't really know. That's what I wanted to talk to you all freely about was because I'm not sure if that's a good thing to open the locker or, I mean, the safe, or it's a bad thing to do it. Harem Scarum? That's a creepy picture. Damaged memorabilia. Let's check that out real quick. These flyers are promoting a traveling show called Harem Scarum. The date listed indicates that it took place over six years ago. By the way, everybody, I appreciate all the support on the first episode. I am going to continue this game from start to finish because this is a game that I've personally been looking forward to. But yeah, um, let's get fully immersed and fully invested. I don't know if the safe is a warning or if it's a clue, like a helpful tip to Finds help me survive. Crime. Who knows? All right. Whoa! Freaking Hunter, bitch. Freaking Billy Hill. 
Okay, so they obviously are coming for our butt cheeks. So we have to be fully strapped and very aware. Did I go here already? I actually don't think I've been here before. What's that? Oh, that's nothing. Just a glare. Just a glitch in the matrix, baby. Can we open this? Oh, fuck yeah, mate. Huh? What am I missing? Oh, sh you son of a bitch, bro. Talk to him. He's not even looking around, dude. Like, what are you looking for? Okay, there's got to be something here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Hello, old friends. Is that the Until Dawn killer clown mask? Oh, yeah. Nah, I can't be. Scare Jacob or leave the props? I'm going to scare Jacob. Because he's an can't asshole! Can't an opportunity like this. And then he bumps okay. her over the head. Have y'all ever seen a grown man crap his pants? Because you're about to... Oh, shit. She's gonna see something on that camera. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. All right, now where should I Oh, oh hide? my. Am I gonna get jump scared by this? Am Jacob! I gonna take control of the douchebag? Emma? Yep, Hello? yes, I am. My goal is to not be scared if I can control this guy. Like, if you're trying to scare me, it's not going to work. Okay, never mind. I'm not going to get scared. I thought I was going to have to look in the area. Ah! You're not scared of clowns? What? No, they're they're funny. You think clowns this are funny? is supposed to be funny? When have I clowns mean, ever been funny? Yeah. Well, do you think it's funny now, little boy? Hey. I. Oh, yeah. If you want to join 20 hey. of my sexy clown friends in a tiny car that somehow fits us all like it's no big deal. This dude just standing there, mouth I, agape. I. Yeah. <laughs> what? Moment's gone. <sighs> Not forgotten. I know, just standing there like a dumbass going... Come on now. The only reason why I wanted to take the clown mask off is because I thought there was something in the box. Never mind. Nothing? Weird. Okay, there's got to be a reason I can still click that. That doesn't make any sense. Like I always say, everybody, make it make sense. Like, put that in your senior quote of your yearbook. Make that shit make sense, my boys. And my girls. Can't forget about my girls. What is this? Are her eyes closed? Lodge renovation plans. Blueprints for structural repairs on the lodge's chimney column. Judging by the scrawled annotations, this is not something Chris Hackett has the money to action right now. Can I do the thing where I rotate the picture? No. Quote too high. Okay, so basically it's too much money for his blood. I wonder where this goes. Locked. Kick door, call Jacob. Let me call Jacob. Jacob! He picked the locks before. Come check this out. Oh, uh, <laughs> Alrighty then, door, buckle up because you are about to meet your maker. Is he going to kick the door? Is kicking the door the only option? Okay. He's a master lock picker. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Staff only room. Fucking mother lock. Good golly, Miss Molly. More watermelons. I wonder he kept this place locked up. Yo, I really you fuck with watermelons. When we made a stash? Best what? snack ever. No. I mean, he left us stranded here. It's like, um... <clears throat> human rights, or... Whatever. Sure. I think watermelons are like 90% right. water, so they now fill you up, Now, let's see what we were working with. Hold that. The door will latch otherwise. Don't quote me on that, by the way, but I think they're like 90% oh. water. Hell yeah. 
Maybe more. <clears throat> but wait, there's In more and out. type shit. Job done. Boom. I want to look around. Go for it. What is that? Oh, alcohol. Yeah, I need to find the code to the safe. I think it might be a clue. Because it's so damn hard to find the code or anything. Hmm? Nothing. Nada. Okay. Wait a minute. Jacob, Wait a minute. Check this out. What? I can't move or else the Are those the, the door backpacks latch. of the two people like that were in the beginning? Camping supplies. Oh. You okay, might be right. Um, there's tents back at the fire pit, so just. Let's let's go. Torn bags. Did a... Hold on. Torn hiking bags dashed with flecks of dried blood. Bear do this? That looks like they're bags. I can't remember if they even had bags. Huh. Okay. I know that you guys are probably jumping from episode one to episode two, but I haven't played this in a couple days, so my memory is a little fuzzy. Oh, cool. <gasps> oh shit. What? Shotgun what is it? with seven seven three nine. Oh, cool. Hell yeah. And, uh, code. Safe code. It ain't safe. You know where that is, douchebag. <laughs> that looks pretty badass. I'm done. The animations in this are actually really good sometimes and really awkward other times, but that time, that shit was solid. Oh. 7739, everybody. That's the code. So you're, uh, you're really gonna keep the gun, huh? Yeah. For bears. Okay. Uh, well, I am gonna find something to haul this lot back to camp. You know, when I was a kid, I was like, bears can't be that scary because they're slow. But as I got older, I'm like, what the hell was I even thinking as a dumbass kid? Not only are they not slow, they're probably one of the most powerful creatures out there. So even just one swipe of their bear claw and you are done. Like you are barbecue chicken to them. They would just smack you one time. And I'm pretty sure that it would cause the brain damage of like getting hit by a boulder or something like that. <sighs> All right. More guns, more guns, ammo. I'm in. Hey, very nice. I guess they didn't respect Mr. Hackett that much. <laughs> what else is in there? Uh, just some fireworks. Cause they're just oh, stealing his fireworks? shit. Fireworks? <laughs> yeah, but I don't think we should. No, 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 Emma. Fireworks. Take fireworks, leave fireworks. Hmm. I don't know. I think we should leave the fireworks because we don't want to attract attention to our exact location. Because if we pop the fireworks, then they're going to know exactly where we are. And I think it's going to be bad. So I'm going to leave the fireworks. I feel like fireworks are crossing. I'm going to make an executive what? decision here. But you got a gun. Why can't I have firecrackers? Because the gun is for bear protection and the fireworks could start a forest fire. And could cause unwanted attention. Stupid forest fires. Please, please tell me I made the right choice. Hey, I found these like torn up bags back there they were pretty messed up and i think they might have had blood on them oh oh stop stop stay right there i hate this guy uh, <sighs> oh dude oh. peanut butter butter pops i know i said i'm dude, gonna try to save everybody but i want him fucking to die butter pops like what is this man doing bro affectionate aren't those for kids i think i'm gonna be affectionate just give him his moment just just do it. Like what Nike, just do pops? it. No. What? I can't believe it. Um, okay. Um <clears throat> Pop pop peanut butter butter pops. <laughs> pop 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 them in your mouth. I should have just pop. shot him with a shotgun. Oh my god. They're like the greatest snack of all time. What are they? Are they like popcorn? What? No. No 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 no. They're nothing like popcorn. They're like their own thing. Like their own subgenre of food snack. You know what? I haven't had these since I was a kid. You are in for such a treat. Okay, wait. Is there an expiration date on that bag? Um, no, they're still good. Oh my god, they're like 20 years old, aren't okay. they? Okay, look. They predate expiration dates. <laughs> well, you're gonna love them. Okay, that was actually kind of funny. Blah. Oh my god. Right. Well, <clears throat> I saw a wheelbarrow out front, so we can load up all our booty in there. Uh. I'm sorry, what? Booty? Oh, it means like, um, like treasure, 
Or butts. <laughs> I like the latter no, better. Before that. Wheelbarrow? Uh yeah. Um uh, okay. Uh it's like um it's like a barrel with wheels. You can Are we really doing this right now? Like shut and up around. and get the shit oh, from point A to point B, alright? The hell are you talking about wheelbarrows for? <sighs> Fuck. Ladies first. I got the shoddy for the thought he's acting naughty. Which we way? got the booze. Even though I always say that if you're boozing, you're losing. We forgot the freaking watermelons. But you know what? It is what it is. I don't know. I feel like grabbing the fireworks was going to cause like a big scene. Super unnecessary. And this guy, if I think that it's going to be him. Yeah, this guy, All I want right. him to survive. Because I feel like he has the inner sanctum. Like the most level-headedness out of this whole group. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's just make this quick. Sure, just give me a sec to get this going. And engage. That's Podcasts. the worst thing a phone owner can see. Dead phone. Yeah. All right. Dismissive? Let me guess. Friendly. What are you listening to now? This dude just looks creepy, bro. He has a serial killer smile. I'm just going to be friendly. Uh, what's it called, the one that you're listening to right now? Let me restart the camera. Uh, too. bizarre yet bona fide. All right, I'm back. So like ghosts and stuff. It's like um, yeah, like the the weird and the wonderful, digging up weird mysteries and discussing if they're well, bona fide. Boner fide. Get it, boner. <laughs> Just please. Your wit knows no bounds. What is this? So, should we check out what Mr. H keeps in his private den of sin? Uh, I don't know, man. I feel a little weird going through his stuff. Yeah, it's pretty messed up. Like okay. I said, they have well, no respect for this man. I mean, come on. What kind of dirty secrets is the owner of a summer camp full of impressionable young children going to have anyway? <laughs> Not Mr. H. I know. He's cool. It's always been cool to me. All right. So, this is douchebag number two. Let's check this out. Family photo. A younger looking camp leader, Chris Hackett, with his two kids, Caleb and Kaylee. They look happy. But are they though? That's the Kaylee real question. Kaylee and Caleb Hackett. No, they do look happy. They do. Not Weird gonna lie. kids, huh? I like them. Why is that guy such yeah, an asshole? Yeah, me too. Um, this dude. They are pretty reclusive, you have to admit. I like him though. He's my favorite so far. Okay, there was a clue on the trash can? Whoa, look at this old thing. Oh no, it was the phone. Hey, give me your number, I wanna try it out. Why? Flirt, so I can ask you on a date? Nice for somebody to call you. I don't wanna be sarcastic and say that, that's pretty freaking mean. So I guess the only option I have is to flirt or sarcastic, so let's just flirt. Uh, so that I can ask you out on a date, uh. Mmm, smooth. I think if I try Ryan to sell phone number on this thing, oh. it'll just explode though. Hello? What? Whoa. What? Who is it? Oh, that's creepy uh, as fuck! Hello? That's the same voice that it's said weird. Silas. I thought I heard someone. Yeah. Maybe you should have asked them out on a date. Damn it, I missed my shot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Ryan seems to have a thing for Dylan. We'll keep that in mind. Yo, my guy, toss me the keys. Uh, so you can poke around in Chris's private area? I, I'm sorry, is that something that only you're allowed to do? Whoa, 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 chill, 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 Come on, chill. what's the harm in looking? It's, you're not a little bit curious. I'm not going to touch anything. Fine. Don't let me regret it. Quick time event. Can't promise I that. I smell it. But... Yep, I smell a quick time event. Here we go. Ba bam Nothing but that. I told you, the quick time event. <laughs> you're came. using that wrong. Give me my crown. Oh. King me. Quick time event. Ah, uh, missed opportunity. Huh. If there was an option to check or not check this place, I was totally going to check because I'm nosy as fuck too. Fashion icon. <laughs> Mr. H knows what he likes. Sure he does. Wow. There's... Yo. What's hey, yo? hey, maybe we shouldn't... Whoa! Interesting. Uh, Brian? 
All right, Mr. H, what are you doing Whoa, in this secret the room? Oh, fuck. These monitors, this is the cam. Huh. Is Mr. H spying on us? No, no. Oh, I thought somebody I mean, was behind no, him. No, he can't be. He's just These freaking just, nut dust just floating around the room. They're all different trails in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Most of the cameras are pointed away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the kids. Unless they wandered out into the woods. You know, these are just... Probably just trail cameras. What are trail cameras? People set them up to catch weird, random shit. Sure. Okay, sure. yeah, like what? Like... Bigfoot. Uh, Bigfoot sightings, you know that yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, Bigfoot. Uh, mischievous, so he was looking for Bigfoot. Maybe he listens to that podcast? Maybe, baby? I didn't know that Mr. H was into that kind of stuff. Maybe. Shit, maybe he likes that podcast my he baby? listens to. Secret hobby, I guess. Expensive hobby. Yeah, well, I mean, what else are you going to do out here? Yeah, I guess camp probably does get pretty lonely when there's no one else around. Yeah, in the middle of yeah. well-fuck nowhere, I would have cameras too. Okay, but why go through all the trouble of hiding this room through a secret door in the closet? Because uh, it's kind of weird. I mean, it's not exactly secret, right? Like, it's just hidden by stuff. Yeah, that's what a secret is, Ryan. <laughs> it's weird. It's majorly weird. I don't disagree with you, but... it's It's got to be something juicy in here. Dylan, okay. it's it's none of our business. And if you really want to know, you can ask him tomorrow. I'm sure that won't be an awkward conversation, like, at all. Okay, yeah, maybe I will. All right. I, I'm leaving this secret layer. Have fun. Hey, you just admitted that it's a secret layer. You know, I actually do kind of like this guy now. Dylan... I don't know. He seems like he would have the same kind of sarcasm that I would if I was in this situation. But it is pretty freaking weird. Hmm. Let's see if we can see anything in these cameras, everybody. Nothing here. Okay. Nothing there. What was that? Oh, shit! That's one of the bald hunter bitches. Oh, he's disabling the cameras. It's probably nothing. Probably nothing. Yeah, dude. Are you freaking kidding me? You know what? I don't like you again. I don't like you. I thought you were smart. I thought you were the chosen one, but that was my bad for being too trusting. Huh. Max? <gasps> that's the person that's missing. What if we find them here? Yeah, what if they're still here? Because I don't think that they're actually dead. I don't know. This is a big summer camp, so they might not be here. 28% and 32%. Alright, let's let it charge. I'm not done yet. Let's go this way. Let's do a full investigation. Yeah, you can't go past an acoustic guitar without doing that, right? I know I can't. There's one at my mom's house. Every time I pass by it, bring. I haven't been here yet. Whoa, there's some pretty heavy duty stuff in here. Yeah, maybe let's not touch that. Yeah, there's nothing fun. Is that really it? I guess. What? Toothpaste. Ibuprofen. Uh, I don't even know. Hey, what's the gun for? Uh, Chris, Mr. H told me it was for, um, bears. Bears? Here? Yeah, yeah, he said they don't really come around because he's got the gun to... Yeah. <laughs> so the bears know that he has a gun Just so they don't alone. come around? Just leave it alone. They just have, like, an agreement that they're not gonna go because he has a gun? The hell kind of logic is that? What if we need it? What if bears crash the party? Yeah, what if we need it, dude? Dude, what if we're out partying tonight out in the woods and we end up in a sort of most dangerous game situation? Like when people hunt other people? Yeah. Yeah. What? I mean, think about it. It's camp is over and hunting season has just begun. True. Okay, so they're what aware if, of hunting if, season. Okay, bear with me here. What if what's on the menu tonight is us? Well, then I guess we would need to protect ourselves. Exactly. That's why we need the gun mm. for protection. Yeah, not going to happen. No, what it's going to happen if no? I have a choice. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, totally. Well, we know where the gun is, if we need it. We're taking the gun. Your call, man. Take the gun, Dylan. Dylan, take the gun. I'm in control. Yo, take the damn the gun. gun. alone, man. No, you Ryan. Got it, boss. I'm taking the gun, bro. Let me control Ryan. Come on, let me control him. Dylan, what the fuck, man? I'm sorry. I just really, really want to know what it feels like to hold it. Um, I told you to leave it alone twice. Yeah, sorry. Cut it out. Is he really going to get pissed if I keep doing it? I can't even do it no more. Okay, Ryan got irritated, so I guess that's it. Well, that sucks. Nice. Full up. Head to party, continue exploring. I'm gonna head to party. Hey, Dunzo. All right, cool, let's go. I already searched everything in here. You all saw that I did. So there's nothing left to explore. Thank you. I really wish we could have taken the gun, but if I don't have a choice, then I guess we're gonna have to come back here in the potential situation. And when I say potential situation, I'm pretty much 100% sure that we might need the gun. Then I know exactly where it is. Mr. H's office. Oh, the two other be a lot easier with Mr. H's chainsaw. It's really very pretty out here when there's no kids around. Yeah, they can get kind of obnoxious, huh? Yeah. They always seem to listen to you during painting class. You know what? Let me just restart the camera. You've seen my class? Just walking by. I'm back. <laughs> the art cabin's all the way out of the way. Just in case it gets spicy yeah, well, in the game and I forget that, that I, take the I need to restart the camera. Which way should we go? Why don't you choose? I really don't give a shit. Shady Glade, Rocky Road. Well, considering Rocky Road used to be one of my favorite flavors of ice cream. Go on, Rocky Road, baby. If Rainbow Sherbet was a choice, I might have chosen it too. Good choice. Or if mint chocolate point. chip was on the menu, Better you sticks. know. Yeah. You know the like vibes. Like burning huh? or whatever. But Rocky Road? Mm. That marshmallow? <laughs> Sorry. Think we've got enough? Rocky Road gets me hot and bothered. Uh. <laughs> the road, Rocky Road. Not what yet. The fuck? All right. Well. I guess I'm in control of this guy. I have no idea what his name is, by the way. But let's do a thorough investigation of this whole area. This better not be copyrighted. So this place was an actual quarry? Uh, yeah. Apparently some of the caves run pretty deep. It's like a honeycomb under there. Cool. Yeah, cool. Cool indeed. I don't know, things like this aren't appealing to me. Like going into the woods and trying to explore shit like caves. I would never want to do that because all I could think about is like mosquitoes, getting kidnapped by a serial killer, all the above, bada bing, bada boom. And like, yeah, falling rocks. Are you sure this is safe? What, are you scared? No. Are you? No. I am. Why does nobody care about my feelings, huh? <laughs> Why does nobody care about me? <laughs> I'm scared of falling rocks. Is what I would say if I was a little bitch. Good thing I'm not. Let's go. Let's do this. Uh oh. Oh, I thought I heard falling rocks. Fuck this, bro. What if this is the first character death? <laughs> death by rock. Dun, dun, dun. This is actually beautiful, though. Not that I would do this in real life. It's all right. Calm down. That's all right. That's not natural. Well, I guess it is technically. But fuck. I don't want to die by falling rocks, do you? Where do I go? Wait. Am I going the right way? What is happening? Wait, that's where we were. Yeah. So after the cutscene, they were facing a different direction, which got me all disoriented. So I actually have to go this way. But yeah, why would I be in an area where there's falling rocks and I have to act like I'm not scared? If I saw falling rocks like that, I would immediately think that we're getting abducted by aliens. Like, they just landed on top of the mountain and rocks are falling because, I don't know, their spaceship was just so freaking heavy and my mind is jogging at, like, 
30 miles an hour. That's why I'm thinking all these things right now. Like, I'm creating random scenarios in my head. Like, my booty is literally sweating right now. I have asshole sweat because I'm thinking about the potential of getting abducted by aliens. What am I even talking about right now? Like, give me some more watermelon because I'm not making any sense right now. I guess I'm gonna go right. If that's all right. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Hey, come on. So, you ever think about what's next? Like, after we die? It's heavy, man. No, I mean, like, the future. The future? Yeah. Yeah, I love thinking Sometimes. about the future. All the time. It's so overwhelming. I know what you mean. Sometimes I just try to, like, let it happen, you know? What? Huh? Like, whatever happens is what was meant to happen. You mean fate? Like it's all predetermined. Fate. Yeah, see, I might as well have written this. Pedantic? I wouldn't call it that exactly. I'm not sure we're supposed to know. I don't know. I'm not sure we're supposed to know. Yeah. Fate just seems so... convenient. How so? Because if it's all predetermined and you do something terrible, then you have the excuse of saying, well, it wasn't really me because everything's been pre-planned and then I'm not really in control of my actions, am I? I never really thought about it like that before. When does the scary I mean, shit well, happen? It's, it's totally okay if you believe that. Yeah, no, totally. Grab your freaking sticks and head to the damn party, people. This is like Life is Strange, Resident Evil, and I don't know. That's pretty much it. Like a combination of the two, in my opinion. Especially with this type of music. <laughs> I know where we are. Yeah? Up here. Here, sure you want to call? <coughs> Coughing like a little bitch, too. <coughs> this view is just... Wow. What are we doing? Taking a 20-minute sketch break? Get to the freaking party! This better be important. This dude just standing there awkwardly, too. He's like, what the fuck is happening? You're really good. To me! <laughs> to me, to me! You're really good. Damn, Abby, you're really good. He can't no, even see no, it. This is nothing. <laughs> no, really, yeah, I'm not just nothing. saying Wait till that. you see my Picasso. This is rough, but if I can get a little bit of it down, then I'll remember it better later. It's really cool you know that about yourself. Um, yeah. I guess so. I mean, not everyone knows what they're capable of, you know? I'm sure you're capable of a lot, Nick. I mean, of course. I just don't know what. You'll figure it out. That is a pretty scary thought, though. Of not knowing what, like, your talent in life is, if you ever figure it out. Like, sometimes I wonder if I tried stuff when I was younger, like tennis or golf or football. If I would have been really good at it. But I don't know if I'll ever know. Did you hear that? Huh? It's probably nothing. No, listen. There's something there. Oh! Look! It's so tiny. What is that, a pig? <laughs> so oh my cute. God, he's so... Super cute. Oh, hold on. Hold it's the mom. Save Abby. What does that mean? <laughs> You're in danger. <gasps> Hunted by a creature of indeterminate. Okay, origin. so it's like until Don dawn where I have to like hold the to controller still. <gasps> Tricking right, the beast got it, into got taking it, got it for got nothing it. but a corpse. And where's the fun in hunting then which is already dead? 
Watch the visuals alter or listen to the sound change as the threat approaches. When the danger has passed, run. Pick the right <laughs> moment and run for your life. Be warned. Exhaling or running at the wrong time may just mark you as the creature's quarry, causing serious consequences. Somebody said in the last episode that, um... Oh, oh shit. I'll tell you on a second. Go, bitch. <laughs> oh, <I'm slime>. oh. <laughs> yeah, somebody said that the safety tips remind them of Fallout. That's exactly what it reminds me of, too. Exactly. Oh, no. <laughs> That's cute, though. Annoyed. That thing almost killed me. Did you draw that? Yeah. You get that on tape? Okay. Did you get all that? Huh? I thought you were going to draw me getting French by a wild pig. Ah, got it all up here. <laughs> <laughs> After all that, why would you get mad at that, you know? You got to laugh it off. I don't know why you would get annoyed. No Unless you're really just a douchebag. So, so, so that was all basically a tutorial for the don't breed parts of the game. That's gonna be interesting. Guess we should head back. Alright, everybody. I think that's all the characters, so it's party time. We also have to worry about the hunters. And there's a ghost at the camp. And Mr. H, I don't even know when he's gonna come back. Plus that weird shady cop. Oh, wait. I forgot about her. She's by herself? Oh, fuck. Finally get my phone back, and it's just a big dumb brick. I wonder who's up there. Can I look? How do I zoom? Let's see. I don't see anybody. Am I supposed to see something? How do I, um... How do I zoom? I guess I can't zoom. Hey, Caitlin. Guess what? Mr. H is a voyeuristic creep. He has hidden cameras everywhere and a secret room. No, that's not... Uh, whoa, now, back up. What? His eyes are everywhere. He's always watching us. Look it off, man. He, he's just got trail cameras set up. You know, forest surveillance, that kind of thing. Oh, you don't think that's weird? Well, he's got a perimeter to check, kids to protect. You know, probably just to keep track of wildlife. You guys have no imagination. So, uh, what's going on here? Everything ready? Honest, weird light in the treehouse, frustrated no service. Let's be honest. I, I did see a weird light in the treehouse across the lake. Yeah, that was pretty spooky. Maybe it's your girlfriend, Brian. The hag of Hackett's quarry. I told you never to say Hag of Hackett's Quarry again. What's wrong with saying Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's a tongue Are twister, and it's kind of weird. You know, I just realized we may never see each other again after tonight. You can't have just realized that. Just trying to set the mood. What mood? The mood, the vibe, you know. Speaking of setting the mood, I have work to do. Okay, because playlists don't make themselves. I mean, I guess they do, but... All right, right guy. Time to get wood. Yikes. Wording. Oh, I know what I said. Uh, Abby, Nick, okay. just in time. We got wood. <laughs> We've already done that joke. It's mostly just kindling. Oh, that's all we need. There's already a big pile of logs here. We could have gotten more, but there was a hog or a boar. But Nick was very, very brave and took one for the team. The hag? Oh, the hog of Hackett's quarry? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it can't be. The hog of Hackett's quarry? What? 
thought you hated that phrase. Big jokes take big sacrifices. You're so brave. Nobody's laughing though. Not even oh, me. I just want to shrink you even down to the hog didn't laugh and at that in my joke. pocket and peep it to where I need a little pick me up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe I chose the wrong thing to say. Ryan thinks you're making fun of him. Oh, Special shit. Special delivery. Sorry, Ryan. I'm being very bad. Oh, he did bring whoa, the watermelon. Whoa, whoa. Where yeah, the hell buddy. did that gun come from? Dude, relax, okay? It's not even real. Uh. Well, I mean, it's a real gun, but it's just for shooting bears. We found it in the storage room. Okay, fine. Fine, we'll put it down. Thank you. Guns are no joke, dipshit. And, and... We bring you a hand-picked selection of only the finest that Hackett's Quarry has to offer. No freaking way. Yes, freaking way. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Hey, pop. hey, hey, hey. I didn't even know you could still find these anywhere. Oh, hey, hey, cool your jets there, cowboy. All right, these are spoken for. Dude, you can't just shove those in my face and not expect me to want to pop, pop, pop them in my mouth. Come on. Emma, please hand me the shotgun. What, you're gonna shoot me over them? No, dumbass. Okay, we are going to shoot for them. Nah, dude. Absolutely not. No. Stern, not leaving you with a gun. Not a great idea. Yeah, I'm not leaving you with a gun. There is no way I'm leaving you dillweeds alone with a gun. Come on, look, the shooting range is like right over there, okay? It'll be no. fun. Okay, look, no. you and me, old fashioned shootout. I'm gonna choose First no. Prize, Peanut butter, butter pops. All you have to save all the ammo, dude. I guess you don't really want them then, huh? Do I really have a Fun, choice in these games? Yeah, boy. I'm saying no. Jacob, hand me that gun now. I mean, nobody's handling any firearms if you're gonna act like a dick about it. Okay, Thank then you, you can be Brenda. the ref. We need an objective third party. Or whatever your name okay, is. In this we're game. trying to get a party started here, Jacob. Okay, well the main party's not gonna die just because you're off on a little side quest. Come on. No, no, I'm saying no. All right, yeah. guess we're gonna have ourselves an old-fashioned shootout. Oh, Look, there's a clearing we can use as a shooting range back there, but I wanted to preserve as much ammo around, as we I could. Am turning this car around. And they're about oh, to shoot for the good. pop, 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 whatever the hell they're called. <laughs> All right. I guess my saying this doesn't even matter, everybody. It is what it is. Story of my life. Okay, so, Corey, just so you know, trail. I was an expert marksman, third class, three years in a row, ranked highest in camp each year. I'm just letting you know that your goose is cooked, Nick, but if you back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter pop if you're lucky. No way. You've never even seen me shoot. Yeah, that's because you've never shot before. Yeah, not that you know of. <laughs> okay, I think I would know if okay, you're actually... Okay, boys, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. As much as I'm enjoying your charming machismo, the moment we step foot on the shooting range, we're playing by my rules, okay? And what I say goes. Got it? Okay, good. Now I'm gonna go set up some targets and get more shells. Do not move a muscle or touch his gun until I'm back. All right, so is it just me? Is it kind of hot when she gets all bossy like that? I'm always hot, pencil dick. Yeah, okay, thank you. Bye, <laughs> bye. Pencil dick. So, um, how's your little one-on-one -on -one with Abby in the woods? Evasive. How's things with Emma? Hopeful. Let's be hopeful. It was... It was okay. Hey! Atta boy! So, I mean, what happened? Well, we flirted a little. She's really smart. Yeah? Mm, yeah. I mean, you see the deal? Don't be gross. No, 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 no. Hey, look. No sweat, okay? We all get performance anxiety sometimes. You just better make your move before a real man swoops in. Speaking mean? of, let me show you how a real man shoots his gun. Are you guys seriously still thumping your chest at each other? No, I think he's got brain damage. <laughs> okay, please, just give me the gun. Uh-uh. You'll have it when I say you'll have it. All right, huddle up, boys. This is how we're going to do she this. Is bossy. You're shooting the one on the left. Nick first, then Jacob's turn. Keep your fingers off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. You got it? Aye, aye. All right. Two things. Remember the spread... Remember the recoil. This is a shotgun. We're not sharpshooting here. The flashlight shows you where you're aiming. Ops. So we got new combat. New combat tutorial. Holy shit. So I go boom. 
All right, Nick, one point. Okay, we're too far back to do any real damage. Let's scooch forward a little and uh, fuck these guys up. Thank you, good. Interesting. All right, Nick, this time for real. What am I supposed to shoot again? The bottle? Nice shot. Okay. Then the watermelon wasting all my bullets. Lucky. Okay. Oh shit. Point to you, Nick. Good job, Nick. All right. Let's see what you got. All right. You might want to uh, avert your eyes, Nick. I don't want to give you any more performance anxiety. Uh, all right, all right. Just shut up and shoot, Jacob. Oh, I thought you were an ultra elite pro marksman. Yeah, with like a rifle. Whoa, okay, dude, not with this fucking hand blaster. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That is how you get someone shot. God. Nah, it's okay. You probably would have missed me anyway. Hey, <laughs> disqualified for being a dumbass. What? No. Friendly, good game, gloating. You know what? Let's just be Sorry, friendly. Sorry, Jacob. Better luck next time. <laughs> Butter we have to keep these time? people hey, liking each other to keep them alive, I think. You're both very mean. <laughs> That's the way that I want to play it. Blam. We thought this was over. What the? Whoa. Hi. Hot pot, peanut butter, butter pots. <laughs> Like the douche with the backwards ass. He was just like, what? <laughs> Yo, this is game, bro. This shit's funny. Like, unintentionally funny. But at least it's party time. Finally! Woo! Damn! It's 2015, so that means it's 10 15 p.m. I want to figure out who's in that damn cabin in that, like, treehouse thing. Okay. New idea. Party game. Mm. Uh, Come on, people, we might never see each other after tonight. Let's make some memories. Well, what do you have in mind? How about the ultimate game of secrets and lies, truth or dare, but Dylan style? Mm. Okay, house rules are someone asks you truth or dare, then you choose, and then you do. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. So, like, normal truth or dare? <laughs> I know, right? I was like, what's yes. the difference? So we can, like, make people kiss? If they choose dare, yeah. As long as everyone consents, of course. Cool beans. I mean, keep it in your pants until it's your turn, but... Well, who does get to go first? Well, it's house deals, so... Abigail. Truth or dare? Really dodged a bullet, huh? All right, here goes. Have you ever slept with anyone? Oh, uh, um, I. Interrupt? Hey, take it easy, man. That's too far. Come on, I, I'm not finished. Um. Have Someone you ever slept with anyone at this camp? <laughs> no. Nope. Sorry. All right, Abby, it's your turn. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, uh, Abby, oh my yeah. god, just pick someone. Okay, okay. Um, uh, I don't know. Ugh. Ding, ding, ding. Too late. My turn. Ryan. Truth or dare? Dare. Give me what you got. Truth. I'm an open book. Let's go with dare. Dare. Give me what you got. Okay, Ryan. Your dare comes with a choice. Can't you do that? I can do whatever I want. <laughs> and okay. I dare you to kiss either Caitlin or Dylan. Wow. I mean, I guess both is off the table. Sorry. 
I don't make the rules. I mean, you literally <laughs> just did, but okay. Let's do this. Well, when we were Ryan, or I think we were Dylan, wasn't he kind of impressed by Dylan saying that he wanted to flirt with him to take him on a date with that phone call? So let's see what happens when we kiss Dylan. Dylan, let's go. <laughs> That's it? Always happy to please. Always happy to please? Dylan's the one that kissed you. All right. Okay, I guess they both liked it. Alrighty, who shall I pick? Well, uh, me and Jacob haven't gotten a turn yet. Good point. Let's go with Caitlyn. Caitlyn, what do you say? Truth or dare? Truth. Yeah, truth. Let's see. Mischievous. Ever hook up with Jacob? What did you want to be when you grew up? Let's be mischievous, man. So you and Jacob go way back, right? Like, since you were kids? Sadly, yes. Lame question, bro. Waste of a turn. You guys ever, uh, get down to business together? When we were freshmen, I made Jacob let me practice French kissing on him. But, it never went any further, cause he's a terrible kisser. And it was like kissing my brother. Yo. Still Ooh. love you, bud. <laughs> Woo! Jacob. Okay. My turn. Getting exposed here. Emma, there. Emma, so you have to kiss. Hmm. Jacob? Or. You like it better with my Nick. Uh. <laughs> That's pretty messed up no, if she but... kisses Nick. Um. Uh, sorry, Nick. This is not uh, even there, obviously. I don't know if that's a good this. idea. I choose Nick. Wow! Controversy! Isn't that Abby's M? Uh, Seriously? This is weird. Yo, this is Auk! Guys. That's messed up. Guys! That was messed up. Thank you, Nick. Yo, Emma, that was not cool. He's good. That's messed up. Especially to do that to your friend, Abby. You're like kissing oh, my shit, girlfriend. She's by herself so. now. It was just a game. Hey, I am nobody's <laughs> girlfriend. The fuck it was. It was just a game. Yeah, the fuck it was, man. Oh, crap. Jacob, grow up. Well, I guess I should probably go after him. You should probably go find Abby. Yikes. I made the wrong choice. I think if I chose Jacob for Soon. the next question... Anybody want to play Parcheesi? Then that wouldn't have happened. What? Crap. Damn it. I think that whole domino effect fucked me up. Who's that? The devil's gonna come when the sun go down. Oh, what the heck? The devil's gonna come oh, when the sun go down. It's like, fuck these losers, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. I made the wrong choice, though. Okay, we Welcome got this, though. We got back. this, we got this, we got this. I am, as always, delighted that you're here. Thank you, ma'am. Always a pleasure. So, then, what more has been found? You return without any more of my cards. Yet, you return nonetheless. Why is that, do you think? Wait. I can't help you without the cards. I want them found. I want them returned to me. Crap. Please, my friend. That's all I have to say for now. Secrets remain buried and the night grows darker. I'll see you again. You can count on that. 
Yeah, careful. I think when we were Nick Where and when we were go, Abby, there's probably the a cart somewhere in the forest follow. there. Ah, oh, crap. I messed that one up. I should have found more tarot cards. But the fact that they're split up, that's a very big fucky wucky right now. Because the number one rule of like being in the forest is you never want to separate from your group because this shit happens. When you separate people from the pack, bad things happen. It's 11, 10 p.m. What are we in middle school? Why should I even care? Maybe I can kiss anybody. Stupid. Stupid. Great. Where the hell am I? Oh, crap. Okay. Shit. This is bad, everybody. I feel like we're gonna see the hag of Hackett's quarry right now. Please don't. Oh, I'm actually still controlling her? That's awkward. Maybe I'll find a tarot card, though. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. I don't even know why I started saying that. I think it's because I'm scared of the Hag of Haggard's Quarry. What? What was that? What did I just see? The camera went like a weird view. Talking about who's they? Oh, there's a raven right there. <gasps> the tower. Found it! Yeah, buddy. All right, we got it. We got the tower card. All right. That makes me feel good inside. That makes me feel warm and fuzzy. <laughs> Abby? Shout again! I'm over here! I'm coming! Nick! Hey. Okay, good. Two people are together. That's good news. Hey. Um. Hi. You, uh. You ran off. smoke it got a little intense not gonna lie I think that game just got a little too intense for me I yeah I know what you mean about what happened direct about what happened let's be cautious so we don't want to show all our stuff cards back there oh my gosh Emma really went to make Jacob jealous, huh? You think? I, I mean, yeah, why the heck else would she kiss me like that? True. I was just playing along. Yeah. It's just a game, right? <sighs> right. Kiss? Sure. What is that though? That's either the hag or it's that thing that was in the basement. <laughs> I don't know. Nick is falling for you. Alright, cool. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Yep. Should we look?
Please go, please go, please go, please go. Weird. Okay. So we got them two out of there. Oh, no, never mind. Shit. I thought they were making their way back already. Gotta get them both out of here alive. I'm not letting anybody die. Is it another boar? It's too growly. Why did I do this? Don't go. Okay, at least she has skills. What the hell? Hopefully Nick is just hurt. Truth there. And that's it. It's a fun game. God. That was pretty intense. I'm not even gonna lie to you all. That was intense. I never wanted to start fighting. So stupid. You flick a like and it makes me scared to breathe. I think he got bit, but he's not dead. Because he was still moving and he was still like aware of everything that was happening. So I think we're good on that one. So as far as I'm concerned, nobody's dead yet. That is pretty messed up what happened to him. But he did get them all in this situation, too. I won't forget that. Damn. 
technique needs work. Hey. Uh, yeah. Yes, you found me that. Of course. <sighs> Sneaking down here was a little more fun when we thought we could get caught, huh? Yeah, I, uh, I guess. Jacob, I thought we agreed that this, us, was just supposed to be some summer fun. Yeah, no, no. I know, I just... You just love having an audience, huh? Oh, Jacob. I mean, you. I can't believe you, like, you fucking Frenched him! You know, in front of everyone! Jesus wept! French, are we twelve? No, but Nick is. Kind of. <laughs> you know, I love the guy, but I don't think he's actually ever seen a girl naked before. Well, I hate to break it to you, but he just had his tongue down my throat, and he definitely knew what to do with it. <laughs> you, you really love fucking with me, huh? Lighten up, Sarapus, please. This is not how the night was supposed to go. What? You know what? Nothing. No. Nothing. Never mind. Hey, that's mine. Yeah, well, finders keepers. I'm getting it back tomorrow. Fine. I'm just focused you on trying to keep these here, two both sulking. alive. You can stand here, Driving yourself crazy imagining Nick's tongue in my mouth. Ah. Oh, or... <laughs> You can go grab us some towels. What do you need towels for? Well, we agreed. Summer fun, right? Apparently, there's gonna be a water monster, is not probably. White. Oh boy. Here we go, everybody. Okay. This just got a lot more interesting now that the freaks are out at night. There's definitely something in the water. Right. Yep. Wait, who the fuck is that? Who is that? Oh shit, they're alive. I think. What the hell? Um, the star. Didn't even realize that. That's cool. So we're just finding these now. It's the star. Stars in the night sky. Beacons of light. Dreams of hope. Purpose. Or a reminder of our insignificance. Fear of despair. Trust in the light of the star. With it comes clarity and sometimes proof. Okay. At least we found that. Good. Huh. Four months on no Kyo, long ago. still missing. I wonder if it was near here. Why is that newspaper conveniently just right there? That is so damn creepy. Wait, can I grab that lantern? Please? What if it gets freaky, dude? He's looking up. What is he looking at? What the hell? Okay. You always think that everything can be pressed on. But you just never know. This is not the little lighthouse, is it? No, it's not. Oh, God damn it. There's no towels. None? There's exactly zero. You dick. God, what the hell? Just get back down here, Jacob. Hold on. Hmm. What are these numbers? Oh no. Kinda spooky. Can I zoom in? Someone up there? Yeah, I'm 
gonna go with probably everything's fine. Really? And that's how you get killed. Can I look at it one more time? I just wanna see, I just wanna double check. Maybe even triple check. Let's do it. Wait, the light's off now. The fuck? Okay. Huh. And now I can't even zoom in with the binocular. At least this dude keeps his head on a swivel. I like that. Sometimes being paranoid is a good thing. Okay, she's just waiting there. Anything over here before we actually officially get to her? Let me see. There's a picture here. Track it and thack it, huh? Oh, well, track it must mean Mr. H. Chris Hackett. Who the hell is Thackett? Thackett. A faded camp photo from the 1970s. According to the names printed below, two of the boys in the picture appear to be Hackett's. What is that? Oh, just a bag of chips. Yeah, in these games, you always start to think that everything is something important. But hey, maybe not. All right, Emma's waiting for us. There's a body at the bottom of the lake. Somebody is, fuck. Somebody <laughs> is on top of the lighthouse. No swimming without permission. A handmade sign warning people off swimming near the boathouse. How dangerous can the lake be? Yeah, we'll see about that. Oh, word? All right, all right, cool. Hey, if you die, you die. I'm not here to save you. Nah, it's my job okay, too. Well, I guess we could just like drip dry or you could shake camera? it out doggy style. Wow, you really know I'm how back, to talk everybody. to a girl, don't you? <laughs> Look, you can't just pretend that it didn't happen. Oh, but I can because you see, oh, help, help, I'm, I'm drowning and I, I need a big, strong, not at all insecure man to come save me. <laughs> Enthusiastic cannonball. Ask Nick. Aw, oh, come on. So we can either be enthusiastic or we can be... Um, so we can either be enthusiastic or uh, we can still be mad about it. You know what? Let's just be enthusiastic. Okay. Fuck it. Just What's yellow this? It. A female in need? Fear not, fragile thing, for Hurricane Jake is here! Cannonball! Oh, oh, oh. Cold, cold, cold. Oh, cold. Oh. Hurricane Jake. It's not the promised land, but I'm sure this room is planned. Oh, okay. Okay, now you're gonna get it. See? <clears throat> <laughs> this water is kind of awesome. Oh, stop! Isn't Clean. it? The water uh, looks weird. Uh, Splash? Yeah. Uh, attack! Dick move. Sentimental, I don't want this to end. Flirt, take a photo of me. What? Like, I don't want this to end. <laughs> I'd be happy to stay out here all summer, but I think we'd get a little prune. Oh, you know what I mean, like... This. Jacob, I had a great summer with you. Well, it doesn't just have to be this summer. <laughs> Jacob. Okay, oh, look, how about this? Um, <clears throat> if I can do a backflip off of here, you let me come visit you, okay? How about that? Right. Hey! Where you going? Come on! Oh, shit. I think that body's gonna pull her down. Oh shit, the 
brought over. Oh, gotta be fucking kidding me. <sighs> Dive in, help Abby. Shit. I'm gonna help Abby. Emma! Jacob, over here! Did you hear that? What? Uh, it was like a, like a scream. And it, it sounded like Abby, but like not the good kind of scream. I can't hear you. Okay, look, just, just hold on. I'm gonna go check it out. Fuck. What? Seriously? Oh, please, 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 please don't tell me I got Emma killed. Oh, this is so stressful, dude. If I was gonna dive in, there's no way he was gonna find that rotor arm. There's no way. It's so, like, tiny, and it's dark. You can't see shit. Like, how are you gonna find that thing? So I tried to make the choice of, like, trying to save somebody else. But fuck. Oh, man. That was some mighty fine else. social disruption there, Caitlin, I have to say. Ah, or was it just the nudge that Abby needed? You're an evil genius. Who do you think is gonna make the first move? Nick or Abby? Ooh, good cue. My bet's on either. I don't know. Nick's got the beast in him. Uh, if by beast you mean some sort of mild-mannered baby deer. Hey, don't let that cute, preppy aesthetic fool you. It's like a steel barbecue grill under that shirt. <laughs> so, you noticed that too, huh? So, what do you guys want to do now? We can keep playing. Yeah? Just the three of us? All right, Dylan. Truth or... I sound like Abby. Oh my gosh. Uh, we gotta help her. <laughs> Wait, where did it come from? This way. Come on. Shit. Wait, Dylan's not gonna go? Abby! Help! Please! Nick! Help him! Impatient, what happened? Worried, where's Nick? Where's Nick? I... Go after Nick! Go! Reluctant, you should do it. Assertive, I've got this. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. I've got this. Wait, doesn't Brenda have the better aim? Oh, shit! That shotgun's got a hell of a spread. Be careful. Oh, crap. I should have made her do it. Because she had the better aim. Okay. But I mean, she was shooting at water bottles and watermelons. Fuck. I'm so stressed out, bro. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We got this, everybody. We got this. Come on, one take, Jason, to build it, baby. Woo. Take shortcut. Follow the path. I'm following the path. What? Uh. What? Follow the damn path! I should have taken the shortcut, huh? Maybe it would have saved some time? Yeah, maybe it would have saved time. What is happening? Oh, I hurt my ankle! What the fuck? Wait. 
Can you shoot it off so he won't get infected? Is Nick infected now? Because he got bit by a monster? Holy shit, dude. Gotta get Gotta get we'll get a guy. Can walk. Can Come on, got a guy. Come on, let's get back to the fire. Oh crap. He shot off his own finger. I think because he got bit, so maybe he's scared of getting infected. That's the only thing that I can think of him doing that. Stupid. <laughs> he's stupid, running around stupid. in his freaking booty shorts, bro. <laughs> Come on. Wait, he might get killed. Because Abby's no longer over there. Shit! Fuck. Oh, Jesus. Ah. Uh. Now I have to save this dude, man. Alright, let's go. Away for you back there, Jacob. What are you doing? Come on, Jay. Come on. Okay. Yeah. You heard that. Don't call out, don't call out, don't call out. Hello? Ah! Ah, what? Ah! Fuck! Ah! 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 Ah, press it, press it. <gasps> Shit. Got it. Fuck. Threatening. Who the fuck are you? Let me down. Oh, please. Please, man. Just just let me down, okay? Just don't hurt me, please. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the fuck are you doing? Please let him down. Please let him down. Please let him down. Please let him down. Please. Okay. Shut up, bitch. Doing. Shh. Quiet. Throw dirt. No, I don't know. Helps if you close your eyes. Oh, oh. What are you doing? Shh. Stop. Shh. Help. Shh. Help. Tastes bad, don't it? It's for your own good. Where are you off to now, girly? I don't think that they're bad people. I think they're made to look like they're bad people, what but I don't fuck? think that they are. What the fuck? Uh. Oh, shit. Oh, that's the boar that we saw earlier. Maybe he put that on his face so the monster won't get him. It's kind of like in um, Walking Dead when they put blood on themselves. Was it Walking Dead? They put blood on themselves so the zombies don't Seems get him? Seems like just a blink and you're back to see me again. Yup. So... Then, what have we got? It's the star. Stars, stars in the night, sky, beacons of light, dreams of hope, purpose, or a reminder of our insignificance, fear of despair. Trust in the light of the star, with it comes clarity, and sometimes proof. The tower. 
jump free of your troubles. Fight or flight? That's the question we all ask ourselves, but often when leaping out of danger, we're still faced with certain peril. Watch your step. It could be your last. Hmm. Okay. Remember, there's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? Yes. See more. Yes, good. But I can only delve deeper into one possible future. So which is it? Choose. The star or the tower? Let's go with the tower. Back to it then. Back to Hackett's Quarry. Back to Hackett's Quarry you go. Oh, the fun you'll have. Hmm. Okay, everybody. I don't want to do this because I so badly want to find out what happens next. But I am going to end this episode here. So, if you want to see the next part as soon as possible, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!